So let's say in your own personal development journey, you had an hour a day where you could focus on something that you wanted to improve, or at least really focus on and uh, on putting energy on and, and getting better at. Would you focus on something that you're already great at? and saying, all right, I want to focus on that and maybe get even greater? Or would you focus on something that maybe you're not so good at, that others seem to just naturally be stronger at, and you really want to get better at that and get as good as others on that? Part of my career, I work in the industry called human capital management, which is really you know, creating technologies, creating systems to help companies with what is their most important asset, no matter the industry that you're in. You know, we're in data analytics technology, but you could be in manufacturing, you could be in automotive, uh, you could make charcoal briquettes. You know, it really doesn't matter the industry. The most important asset any company has is its people. And so I firmly believe that. I spent a lot of my, my career in helping companies manage that most important asset and build technologies to do that. And so one of the things that I learned throughout that journey is that performance management. So think of how do we not only help our teams achieve goals or help our colleagues uh, you know, perform better, but even ourselves. We think of ourselves and how do we get better and how do we improve. Historically, what we do is we'd kind of rate ourselves. There's different kinds of ways to rate yourselves. And then you'd rate whether you're strong or moderate, or maybe this is an opportunity to improve. And then typically what most people do or most organizations and even historically most system is they focus on the things that aren't as highly rated and trying to raise those ratings. And actually a lot of study has been done on this and what's been found is that's actually okay, but what's even more important is to recognize what are the things that are your strengths? What are the things that are you're actually just naturally through talent or through experience that you're highly rated at? What are your strengths? What are you uniquely good at? Those are actually the most important things that are gonna help you be successful or help you add more value to your team or to your company or to your clients. And it's actually more important to focus on those and focus on your strengths and make sure that you are choosing roles or leveraging activities or taking actions that leverage what you're naturally good at and keep getting even better at as opposed to just focusing on the things that maybe others are better at naturally and that you have to work on. We all have them, we all have both. Now, if you have something that you're, you know, okay, you really need to work on, that's okay. But, but, but you know, maybe get that up to good enough, but really focus on what's great, what makes you great. And that's really going to help you in your career. It's going to help you be more valuable to your teams. And as you actually manage teams and help others, helping people identify what they're great at and then helping them leverage that, and making sure everybody's strength is what they're contributing to the team uh, will really help you create the most high-performing team and help you advance in your career uh, individually as well.